Dirt Everyday Extras go live every weekday on Motor Trend On Demand. Here's an example of an episode you missed last week. This Dirt Everyday Extra, we're going to talk to you about the differences between the brand new Jeep JL Wrangler and the prior model, the Jeep JK Wrangler. The Jeep JK started production in 2007 and is running all the way into 2018. In fact, rumor has it that they will continue selling JKs into, J into 2018, maybe a couple months before they will discontinue this. The JL is now on the marketplace and you're gonna start seeing these on the road and on the trail, but how do you tell the difference? If you're looking down, if you're driving down the road, you see another Wrangler coming, is that a JL or a JK? How do you know? Well, I'm gonna give you a few pointers of things that you can watch for that'll tell you the difference. First of all, let's, when it's coming towards you, you'll notice the turn signals are now on the fender instead of the JK where they're on the grill. The marking light is now on the side and instead of being a round light, like on the JK, it's kind of a more uh, squared off light. The hood stops where the windshield folds down these have the tie-ins right there built into it, and they're long and kind of rectangular. The JK, they're round, and then it has a tie-down that's separate on the hood. Also, the windshield itself is leaned back quite a bit more on the JL than on the JK. And the fenders themselves look very different. This has an aftermarket bumper on, but you'll notice that the fenders on the JL have this kind of uh, plastic piece in here, which is there for aerodynamics to help improve fuel economy. A lot of the changes done to the JL from the JK were specifically done for better fuel economy. Plus, there are a lot of things that just kind of were annoying or a little bit clunky on the JK that they've really fine-tuned and refined with the JL. Moving down the side, you can see the fender flare itself is very different. There's like a different marker line here, and the rumor has it there's a different fender if you get the Sport model versus the Rubicon or Sahara model, and enabling you to fit larger tires. Um, notice how these two rivets are on the side of the body panel right here. On the JK, they ran up the A-pillar. This is actually done in order to be able to remove this panel easily if you want to get in there and mount some lights or wire like an antenna or a light bar or anything like that. The fender also has this kind of indention here. All of this is done for aerodynamics and fuel economy. Um, I don't know how much of this is design worthy, but most of the things that they've done to this thing are to pass uh, government regulations. Mirror is a little bit different. The door looks to be a little bit bigger. I haven't actually measured it, so you're not really gonna be able to tell, but you can definitely tell the hinges are different. These kind of have a more squared off where the JK kind of comes to a point. The drip rail runs all the way to the back where on the JK, it stops right here. So that is definitely different. Um, the rear fender flares are different. And also, in the back of the vehicle, the tail lights are different. The license plate is now on the bumper instead of hanging out here on a bracket. And on the very back of the hardtop, you can see that it kind of comes and has like a little fin that sticks out. That is all for aerodynamics. That's all for fuel economy, which is one of the major driving forces behind all the changes to JK. It's been 10 years since they did JK. JL is now out. Um, they've refined it a bunch. The interior definitely is has things that are very similar, but also very different. Like the, the window controls are still in the center dash instead of on the doors, which is very reminiscent of, of the older JK. But there's been a lot of little changes. The, the hard top is easier to remove. They have a lot of different types of soft tops. They even have a kind of hard top, soft top version that has a removable panel. So overall, lots of new refinements, lots of new changes. If you're driving down the road and you see a JL coming toward you or a JK, hopefully now you'll be able to identify them and they're gonna be out there. They're gonna be all over the trails within the next year. That's it for Dirt Everyday Extra. We'll see you guys next time. If you need more Dirt Everyday Extra, go sign up right now.